everybody. If you look behind me, you will see this is my bathtub. You've seen me do bath bomb videos, but this bright green sloopy gloopy potion behind me is not a bath bomb. It is in fact thick green slime. It's a children's thing to play in, but I've always thought that it looked really fun. You may have heard of it before, it's called slime bath. What you do is you sprinkle your slime powder onto your bath water and leave it for at least 10 minutes. It says the longer you leave it, the thicker it gets. So I've left mine here for just a little over an hour. Not only do I have this bathtub full, but I also have a great big pot full of even thicker slime and I will tell you shortly what that's for. Would you get into this? Because I'm about to. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh god, oh god, it's so slippery. Oh my god, whoa. It, it did say to be careful because it's really slippery. It's really slippery. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> this feels amazing and so weird. Things I do for you guys. Not only am I doing this for you guys, I'm also doing this for children who need help. I realized that from reading you guys' comments that a lot of people think that I hate children. I don't hate children. I dislike some children in the same way that I dislike some adults. Children will one day be adults. They're all just people with personalities, right? I'm doing this to raise money for the Action for Children charity. If you look in the description box below, you can find out more information. It's a wonderful charity. I take vulnerable children from bad situations and give them the support and the love and the opportunities that they need to live a happy, safe and successful life. I think that's wonderful and really important. Every single successful and influential adult in this world has to love other children. I know, I don't hate children. Please stop thinking I hate children. Last year I was actually a nanny, believe it or not. If you guys are watching right now, hi from my slimy green bathtub. My god, I wish this stuff existed when I was a kid. Shit, I can't get back into where the camera can see me. It's so slippery. I guess it just sort of looks like bright green water, but then you touch it and it's thick. I wish this existed when I was a child. This is so freaking cool. If you have children or you just want to give this a go for yourself, I will also link below to like the slime bath website where you can get some for yourself. I could just scoop like this for hours. I can't get over how much fun this is. <laughs> I think this is really appropriate for Halloween month. Who doesn't love gooey spooky slime? This gets even better by the way. Maybe you've heard of the slime bucket challenge, like quite a few celebrities and other YouTubers have been doing it. Not only because it's fun, but also because it's for charity, I thought I would give it a go as well. And so what the slime bucket challenge involves is taking a bucket of this slime and dumping it over your head. You do this for the good of humanity. <laughs> Anyone can do this. I'll link below to where you can get your own slime if you want to do the challenge yourself. It's a bit like the ALS ice bucket challenge that people were doing a while ago. I'm scared. In this pot, I have more slime, about eight liters. Oh God, it's so heavy. It's much thicker, also cold. Oh, oh my God, look at it. Look at it. It's so amazing. It's so thick and gloopy. It's quite heavy, huh? It smells, it also smells really nice. It smells like grape flavored candy. So this challenge involves me dumping this whole big freaking pot of heavy, green, goopy, slippery, sloopy slime over myself. My husband was going to help me with this challenge, but like his shifts at work have changed and he's not here. <sighs> to do it myself. <laughs> I must also nominate three others to do this challenge. So to do the slime bucket challenge to help raise money for the Action for Children charity, I nominate Fluffy Purple Mothman. Though you probably won't see this, I nominate How to Basic, because I would love to see what creative take on this challenge How to Basic could do. And thirdly, I nominate the internet's favorite emo, Greg Anision because he should do something nice. Also, I nominate anyone watching this who wants to give this a go, follow the links below to where you can get your own slime, where you can make your own video doing the slime bucket challenge. I dare you. I don't think I can lift it over my head. Why does my husband have to be at work? Why? I'd just like to take this moment to thank my friend Paula for giving me this massive pop big enough to boil a head in. I hope you'll agree it's being put to very good use. Please follow the links below if you would like to donate to Action for Children to help kids in shitty situations get the better lives they deserve. Okay. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's in 
my god. I have no words. This is so freaking fun. Oh, <laughs> this smells so good and it feels so smooth. This is one of the best things I've ever done with my life. I have no regrets. It's so smooth and slimy. It makes a really yucky noise. <laughs> what <a> sound? <laughs> Where were you all my childhood slime? Wouldn't this be a great way to share a romantic candlelit bath? Have all the candles going and some flowers. And I see the green water and think it's just some sort of exotic bath bomb. And then they get in and it's slime. It's so like strangely pleasing to touch. Woo! It's very hard to stay in one position and I keep sliding around. My inner child is squealing with delight. What a sound! As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, happy Halloween month, and I'll see you next time. Bye!